Now two voters decide coverage where the race for the White House is making a stop right in our area today. Republican vice presidential nominee J.D. Vance is coming to Westmoreland County, and that's where we find Lauren Linder joining us live on the campaign trail. Good morning to you, Lauren. Good morning, David and Lindsay. Today marks Senator J.D. Vance's first visit to Western Pennsylvania since joining the Republican ticket for the White House, and he'll be speaking right here inside the VFW Post 92 off White Old Life Lodge Road in Lower Borough at 10 this morning. Now, the Trump Vance campaign says he'll talk about how their administration would support veterans. It's an invite only and not open to the public. Vance is expected to be joined joined by fellow veterans, representatives Jim Banks of Indiana, Brian Mast of Florida, and Michael Waltz of Florida. Now, Democratic vice presidential candidate Tim Walls said that he intends to debate Senator J.D. Vance on October 1st on KDKA. Senator Vance has indicated that he's eager to debate Walls, though it's not immediately clear if he agrees to the October 1st date. Vance addressed the invite last night on Fox News. Is there any doubt that you will not be there on October 1st to debate Waltz? Look, Laura, we want to actually look at the debates, look at the moderators, talk about the rules a little bit. CBS reached out to us about this literally three hours ago. I was landing from a rally and a press conference in Michigan. I strongly suspect we're going to be there on October the 1st, but we're not going to do one of these fake debates, Laura, where they don't actually have an audience there, where they don't actually set the parameters in the right way, where you can have a good exchange of ideas. And a new poll just released by The Economist and YouGov shows Tim Walls is more favorable than J.D. Vance. Walls got 40 percent, Vance got 36 percent. The poll was taken between Sunday and Tuesday and has a margin of error of 3.3 percent. And if you plan to head to the area, expect Wildlife Lodge Road and New Hampshire Drive to be closed off from 6 this morning to noon. We've also, uh, I want to note, noticed a lot of police and law enforcement members coming here after everything that happened in Butler uh, last month. For now, reporting live from Lower Borough, Lauren Linder, Kitty K, TV News.